We all use flowers for decoration. Some use them sparingly, some go all out. Others let them grow wild or just stick to weeds. Animal Crossing has given us many types of flowers and color variations, which makes decoration a lot of fun. In this video I want to focus on the lesser common flower decoration techniques. Some of these I only recently discovered for myself and I thought they were fun, so I wanted to share them. We have three main points. So if one of them is more interesting for you, feel free to use the chapters in the description below to jump around. First we will talk about picked flowers and vases. Then we take a look at flowers on the beach. And lastly, I put together a flower selection based on different bugs. So let's get right into it. I would say that about 90% of my flower picking is usually by accident. You want to pick up something nearby or you just press the wrong button, which can be quite annoying since you destroy the look of the flower until it grows back and you also used up a space in your pockets. Picked or whole flowers don't sell for a lot, so the only reason to intentionally pick up flowers is for crafting or for decoration. You can drop flowers. Here you can see what every type of flower looks like dropped. This can be nice in a flower garden, on a path. Just take care because if you have too many dropped items it could impact your island rating. So use this technique sparingly. As a little bonus I also wanted to show you what each flower looks like as hair decoration. They are always on the right side of your hair. I personally prefer the windflowers, the purple mums and surprisingly the lilies. They look quite nice. But if you look at the tulips I think they just look like you have a slice of cheese on your head. I think they look very weird and squished together. Not my favorite. You can also put down flowers which will put them into vases. The interesting thing here is that every flower type has a different kind of vase to complement the picked flower in it. I think it's fascinating to see how much thought was put into this. While every vase is white, you can see that they have different textures and shapes. The pansy vase has a grey part at the bottom, while the hyacinth vase has the most interesting shape and I adore the textures of the mum vase and the cosmo vase. Another nice detail is that every flower has a little leaf attached to its stem. You can use these as decoration for inside and outside, on restaurant tables, in a flower shop, besides villager homes. The color of the vase doesn't change, but you can of course pick different flower colors to switch it up. The golden rose has a golden vase. I thought it was a nice touch. Looks almost like some sort of trophy. Decorating beaches with flowers can be tricky, since as soon as you accidentally destroy the flower by running through it, it will not grow back as long as it's on the beach. So I always saw flowers on the beach as an inconvenience. I mean the beach is great for flower dumping or better said flower storing until you need them since you cannot put them in storage. But intentionally decorating with flowers seems to be a risky business. But how about we use this feature for our advantage? You see, as soon as the bloom of the flower is not there, the rest of the flower is basically undestroyable. So we actually open up all of the different flower growing stages that are usually only temporary. These can now be permanent on the beaches. There are a total of four different growth stages for every type of flower. First, the seed stage. <coughs> Second, the stem stage. Third, the bud stage. And fourth, the bloom stage. Depending on the stage that the flower is in, it will never evolve to the next stage as long as it's on the beach. So by keeping this in mind you can effectively freeze any flower stage on your beaches and have much more variety than on soil. Let's take a closer look at the different stages. The difference between the buds and the stem stage can be quite subtle. The main difference is that since the stem stage comes first, it does not show what color the blooms will have, so it consists of shades of green only. I also noticed something interesting while testing flowers on the beach. If you destroy a flower by running through it, it reverts back to the bud stage, but if you pick the flower, then 
when it goes all the way back to the stem stage. While this isn't a big deal on soil, you should keep this in mind when you are going for a specific stage on your beaches. I think the most popular beach build using flower buds is the strawberry field. I have seen that in a lot of build videos and on Pinterest. While I haven't tried it yet, I think it fits perfectly. Here you can see a strawberry field by my fellow YouTuber Kendall Crossing. You can find her channel in my description. While the flower buds and stems are nice, I definitely prefer the seed stage. I think it works perfectly on beaches. It's giving the look of beach grass, maybe seaweed or other plants you might find on the beach. I know a lot of players prefer to use weeds on the beaches, which makes sense. I tried that too, but I noticed that after a few days the weed did actually grow, even on beaches. That was a problem for me because I prefer the small growth stage of weeds. Weeds will also impact your island rating if you use too many, so I usually just avoid them altogether. This is why I see the seed stage of flowers as a perfect alternative. So keeping all of these tips in mind, I wanted to create some sort of statue garden on the beach. I used the different flower stages, some fences, rocks and glowing elements that would give it a nice atmosphere during the night as well. For the last section I thought it would be fun to coordinate flowers according to some bugs we have in the game. I'm not a bug expert, so if we have some bug experts watching, please feel free to add or correct anything you see. This information is based on my own research in flower lookalikes, since we do have a limited amount of flowers in the game. First I thought it would be best to take the honeybee. I think the honeybee is the most likely to be used in builds, because we also have beehives in the game and it can be fun to make a little beekeeper station. So when we think Think about which flowers bees prefer in real life. Here are some that would go well in the game. Cosmos. We do have this flower type and we can use whatever color we like. Snowdrop. Here I would just use the lily of valley flower. Calendula. Looks like an orange cosmos to me. Lavender. Here we can just use purple hyacinth. Bee balm. Kinda looks like pink mums to me. Marigold. Looks like yellow mums. So if you want to pick your flowers for a bee garden, it could look like this. For our next bug, let's take a look at the ladybug. The ladybug likes nettles. We don't have a flower that looks exactly like nettles, but I think if you take lilies and pick away their blooms, it comes pretty close. Sweet alyssum. Looks like white hyacinth to me. Angelica. A lookalike could be green mums here. Calendula again, with the orange cosmos. And marigold with the yellow mums. Since ladybugs also like to hibernate in stems and hollow wood, I also added some firewood and a wood stool. But you could also just leave some tree trunks around. So this is what your ladybug garden could look like. Looking at butterflies, we want to include multiple different ones. So I'm speaking about butterflies in general and no specific type. First, of course, we have the butterfly bush. Here I think you could use a pink or white hyacinth. Next we have lavender and the lookalike would be the purple hyacinth. Another popular flower with butterflies is the milkweed. Kinda looks like pink mums. Then the cone flower looks like pink cosmos. And the black-eyed Susan. I think you could use yellow cosmos for this, even though they don't have the black center. But I think it still works. So if you would like to orient your flower selection to cater to butterflies, this is what it would look like. I hope this video was able to give you some new ideas or even made you rediscover some flower types and variants. I am happy that I finally started decorating my beaches. Making this video definitely motivated me to at least start and I actually quite liked your little statue garden. So let me know in the comments if you used any of these tips and what builds you made. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.